So we're here with Nick. He's an artist, and we're gonna be doing some art today. Ah! Oh, Carter! How'd you do that? You literally told me to do it. There's no way, dude. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh I love how it's almost created a. Uh, 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 uh. We got an idea. Three, two, one. Yo, it kind of worked. It kind of did. I, I think we can make it better. This is the moving paintbrush challenge. We are doing Twinkie Roulette. These are yummy Twinkies. However, one of the yummy Twinkies is not so yummy. So this first round's pretty easy. It's just a hot dog in one of them. Are you serious? Yeah. Is it cooked? No. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone must have a fair shot. Right! <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I got a good twinkie. Oh, oh look, I got the hot <laughs> My stomach is already upset. Ready? Two, one, go. Mm. Oh. 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 <laughs> is that shaving cream? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I've prepared this round is one of these Twinkies has sardines in Louisiana hot sauce. Oh, dude, I'm literally about to puke. Three, so that's two, <laughs> one, go. I'm trying not to gag. I'll smell it. I'll smell it. Mm. No. Is it heavy? Dude, I, I picked it up and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and then I also actually went to bite it and Carter was staring at me. <laughs> so one of these has canned artichoke heart in it. Heart? <laughs> People put it on pizza. People put sardines so on pizza too, Carter. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's so disgusting! For the final round, it's so hard to one of these is filled with a real thick gravy. <gasps> oh. mm. Three, two, one, go. Wait, we got the gravy. <gasps> I did, but I didn't bite it in far enough. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> We're gonna run a mile in blue jeans! You guys know why this is important to me? I'll make him come back. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Coach McCraven, this is for you. Three, two, one, go! Oh gosh. Here goes nothing. Carter lost his hat. Oh. This is real, man. Wait, are we going now? Come on! Carter's right behind you. You better go. Is that cream? Is that half and half? The calcium reinforces your bones. It prevents shin splints. That is so gross, dude. What is he doing? He's drinking half and half. No! Carter, you're gonna throw up. You're, you are legit gonna throw up. Here comes Ryan, lap three, almost done. This is hydration. Oh my God. How you feeling? How's the back? That's horrible. Three laps down, how y'all feeling? Good. Fine. <laughs> At least I farted on them. Here he goes. Yeah. Let's go. Ooh. 527. 
Do they make my butt look big? They make Holy crap. <laughs> Haley gave up. Two laps in. I want to say give up. I would say successfully completed a half mile. <laughs> yeah. I think you need a refill of half and half. I was gonna say, I think the problem is I didn't drink enough. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ew. Ew. Is it chunky? No. You ever had half and half before? No. Nick is done. Nick Carter. There's no way. You gotta puke. Why is he doing? This is fuel. Good! Yay! The internet. Sub seven, 658. All right, Carter, two more laps. Got one lap left. No, you got two laps. Uh, you have two laps. I've been counting. Is this guy actually crazy? Does anyone know, like, his background? Let's go, Carter! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Carter! Right here, this the is the finish line. This way. He's hopping. Oh the my. He's hopping the Carter. Carter. <laughs> okay, so we saw the world record for the world's longest tin can phone was 800 feet, and we thought we got some cans, we got some string. It can't be that hard to break. No. We've got some white corn here. We're gonna empty these out and see if we can uh, do the impossible. <laughs> Ew, why did you smell it? It smells good. <laughs> why would Why would you smell it? No, Car Carter. Carter. Very good. Is it really that bad? Oh yeah. No, it's not. Dude, I am afraid of vegetables. Corn is like barely a vegetable. It's good. <laughs> All right, so let's test it on a short distance first from like here to here. From how far? From like here to here. That short? <laughs> Hello. <gasps> can you hear me? <laughs> it works. Can you hear me? I can hear you, that's insane. <laughs> I'm not sure what that noise is, but yes, I can hear that. I really am curious if it's just because he's standing three feet away That's from you. Yeah. So, listen up and listen good. We're gonna get this world's longest can phone, and I'm gonna swim across this lake because sound travels better over water. Haley, why are you filming like that? I do not believe that you're getting in there. Like, I don't. You actually don't believe me? The reason Haley doesn't believe me is because I am not a very good swimmer. Ryan. What, Haley? Don't drown, okay? All right, if I if I feel unconfident, I'll come back. Ryan, you're uh -huh. not! We got you, I'm not getting in the- No! <laughs> That's disgusting. It's just muddy. Here we go. That's so gross! Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Remember to float if you start feeling panicky. The form? I haven't seen better form. It's like 400 feet. I, it, I feel like that's oh gosh, feet. this makes me so nervous. You're almost there. Jeez, dude. You're almost there. I can hear him getting tired of playing so nervous. Sure Why does it look like he's not moving forward? Yeah. Just very slow. You're so close! Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna title this video, World's Longest Can Phone, but I literally almost just drowned. <laughs> I jump in, first 20 meters or so, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm figuring out how to maneuver the can in my hand as well. I get about halfway, getting really tired, and a freaking fish slaps my thigh. Just, uh -huh. mm, hey boy! And at that point, that's when I screamed, because I thought that fish was going to either bite my leg off or call other fishes to do that same mm. assignment. Gang, gang activity. Gang bang me. Ga well, I thought those yeah. fish were going to gang bang me, man, That's... in the middle. And at that point, it's too late to turn around because I might as well try to get to the other side. Now, about 60% across the lake is when I start kind of panicking a little bit. By the grace of God, there was a random kayak right by the dock, and Carter swam it over to me, and I was able to get back safely. I'm pretty sure I had another 30 seconds in me tops. Oh my God. I quite literally almost died today. I forgot to tell everyone before I jumped off that I can't swim. <laughs> like 20 meters before the dock, I started blacking out. My legs started serious? cramping. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. My legs started cramping, both of them. I swallowed water. It was bad. Yeah, I thought so too, Ryan. That wasn't funny. Yeah. Was there any thought of like floating on your back or no? No, because I don't know how to do that. Moral of the story is, learn how to float on your back.
And also tell someone if you're putting yourself in a life-threatening position. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Go watch another one. <laughs>